everyone, this is Yan from Devolutions, and today I'm excited to announce, or should I say reintroduce, one of our products, and that is Devolution Server, the free edition. Now, you may or may not know what Devolution Server is, our self-hosted credential management platform. It's a place to store, organize, and manage access to your credentials, or remote sessions, uh, even privileged accounts. Well, we had a free edition of this, and it was limited to three users. We thought about it and we said, is that really serving you, our customers, and providing the most value to you? So we decided to go back to the drawing board, and our leadership team and our developers uh, worked together and said, what can we do better with Devolution Server Free? And our answer was, increase it up to 10 users, absolutely free. Uh, remove the limitations on the vaults and entries. We had some limitations on how many vaults and entries you could have but it's normally paired with Remote Desktop Manager. Now, Remote Desktop Manager is your front end, your, your client side tool that launches your remote connections and all that kind of stuff. Well, the only way you can connect Remote Desktop Manager to Devolution Server is if you have the paid or the team edition of Remote Desktop Manager. Uh, so what's really, really good about this is it's actually very simple and easy to deploy. Why don't I dive right in? I'll stop blabbering and uh, let's, let's install this thing and see how easy it is to just uh, get it started. So let's grab the installation file by heading to devolutions.net and going to the Devolution server page. Once we're there, we can find uh, one of the download buttons, which will take us to the uh, Devolutions management console. So we're gonna download this first. You'll wanna make sure that you do install it running as administrator. So we're gonna go ahead and start by uh, adding a new instance of Devolution server. Now, one of the prerequisites for Devolution Server is a SQL Server. I already have one installed, but if you don't, you'll get another prompt there saying that SQL Server was not found and therefore it will install a SQL Server Express for you. Okay, now I need a certificate for my Devolution Server. I already have one, so I'm gonna go ahead and put that one in with the password. But if I don't have one, it will create a self-signed certificate on my behalf. Now I'll fill in my authentication to access my SQL Server. Now a prompt will appear advising me to save my username and password for my Devolution Server instance, as well as the encryption key password. These are very, very important. So I'm gonna to wanna to make sure I, I save this in a secure place and transfer some of these credentials into my password manager later as well. All right, now it's installed and I can head over to the DVLS URL and put in my username and password. Now. It will prompt me for a license, and obviously, since I'm using the free version here, because I have under 10 users, I'm gonna select activate the free version, and voila, I'm in my shiny new Devolution server. Well, I hope you saw how easy and simple it was to deploy Devolution server free. You can connect it to Remote Desktop Manager. Like I said earlier, if you have Remote Desktop Manager for Teams, please let us know how the process goes, if there's anything we can do for you. We really, really want to help you use our tools in the most effective way. And we think that this is gonna be a great asset to you, uh, your IT team and your small business. So thanks again for watching. We hope to see you in our next video. Have a great day, bye.